Okay, now we want to go ahead and orient these things the way they need to be, so let's rotate the foot here and scale it down. Put it kind of near the leg where it needs to be. Now we're going to do the body. It doesn't quite look like we'll be able to quite UV projection the body. We can go ahead and uh, stick the axis, orient the axis back to back to normal here. Make sure everything else is normal. We could we could try to just select. Okay, that shouldn't happen. Don't know why that happened. Get back in the standard mode. I don't know why it thinks it has to do this to me. Yeah. All right. I don't know why it randomly rotated it for. That's just unexplainable. All right. And it did it again. Okay. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I don't know what to I don't know what to make of that. <clears throat> so I'll make sure it doesn't move. That should uh, handle that. Maybe. Alright. Maybe we can actually continue now. Alright, we could go to we could go to the projection, we could go to cylinder, but we see we have a big hole here, a big old gaping hole where where we have half of our model right there. So instead of doing that what we're going to do is probably use the frontal projection. With the body. So I'm just going to select these. And we don't want any of the back. Alright, that's good. The back is. Nothing of the back is selected. And just. We're going to hit frontal. Which actually orients it to your, uh, your actual view in, in the viewport. The reason why I'm using this is because we would actually like to attach the arm to the body. So now, we can get the back here. And go to frontal on that. And we will attach this to the other side of the back here. You can terrace those together. And of course, these points <coughs> need to come down. And maybe now I need to go ahead and relax these. Hmm. Alright, that's, that's kind of odd. What do we have here? Oh, okay. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Alright. Sorry about that. What we want here is the other side. Ah. Uh -huh. Here we go. UV tears those together. <coughs> of course, it's just one. The other one will actually be attached to the leg. We can just leave those be the way they are. But we will probably go ahead and continue this. Alright, that's the end of it. So the leg will be there. 
on the head, the other side of the head. Go ahead and get that. Frontal. Bring that together. Relax this a bit. Let's go ahead and keep the border points together for now. Let's take it off, see what that works out. Eh. That's part of a separate piece of polygon. Okay, we're missing a polygon here. Yeah. We're just going to slap that in there. Terrace, just to relax. There we go. May want to keep the heads separate in some situations. I think this is one of them. So there's more or less the head and the neck. Now we. Now what we want to do is attach the arm here. So notice this is actually the neck here. It seems complicated and you may not understand exactly what's what when you first start out doing this. But uh, you will probably get used to it. I mean, it, you don't need to be picky about things because you can always find out where something, where something needs to be if you don't immediately understand what's going on. You can always look at the polygons. So that's that polygon. That's that polygon. So those two go together. And I see we're missing a couple. That was the issue I had before. Okay. Those, those need to come down. Those need to be attached. And instead of trying to figure out how in the world we're going to attach them, we just select that. UV Terrace. And it makes it look messy. And Oh no. But we're just going to relax. And then there it is. And that actually attaches to that, so we can go and uh, probably just UV, UV terrace that whole thing. UV terrace all this together. Oop, except that we actually want to keep this point separate here. We don't want to combine with this other point. Let's select. Oops. Let's select that. Relax. So now we've got that half done. <clears throat> now we want to attach the foot, and you may need to rotate some points again for that. So we may, some things are going to be distorted a little bit. It's not that big a deal, unless you want to do it some other way. I'm just showing a method. This is how I have done my models in the past. Seems to work out pretty good. I like it because it minimizes the seams. Seems are a hassle, and I just don't like them, but they have to exist. All UV mapping is basically skinning your model. Oops. Laying it out on a flat surface. <clears throat> 